Rubber? <laughs> well, the industrial use of rubber bloomed in the 19th and 20th centuries due to its great uses in the automotive and military industries. In modern days, rubber is used in many applications such as flooring, insulation, gasketing, sealing, and much, much more. The rise of industry has brought rubber to commercial prosperity, but rubber is by no means an entirely new innovation. In fact, rubber has occurred naturally in plants for up to three million years. What types of rubber are there, you ask? Well, the term rubber has traditionally referred to not only natural rubbers, which are tapped from the plants, but also petroleum-based byproducts to make synthetic compounds. In more recent history, with an excess of rubber materials that have either been discarded or sent off to recycling plants, we have recycled rubber. The most common type of rubber used in this recycled rubber would be old discarded tires. This here is a modern innovation in rubber technology. This is called a thermoplastic elastomer. Thermoplastic elastomers are a blend of plastic compounds and rubber compounds. The end result is you have a material that exhibits both properties of rubber and plastic. I'm glad that we got to spend some time together here at Rubber Cow and talk about the four different types of rubber. Keep in mind, we have natural rubbers, we got synthetic rubbers, we also have recycled rubbers, and thermoplastic elastomers, also known as thermofantastic elastomers.